Good morning, or afternoon, or night. I don't know what time it is when you're watching this video. I just know it's morning for me, 4 a.m. to be exact. Hi, sir. He's over by the speaker. Let's see what he has. Okay, this is a legacy engram. Legacy engram. It will not decrypt into current stuff. Do not buy this expecting to get current primary weapons. This is a legacy engram. Okay, I made that clear. For Titans, we have the Thagomizers with an intellect roll. Eh, I'd go for a different roll on these. But they grant amplify and then grant additional melee charge. Increase melee attack speed, increase reload speed with auto rifles. Eh, yeah, the, first off, that intellect roll is absolutely awful. Um, second, the, these gloves are good. Like, no doubt about it. I, 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 like, I like these gloves. Um... You know, allows you to do like a double melting point, or if you're still running striker, you know, you can get two, uh, two little upgrades there. I think there's the other one that like gives you your your charge back. Sorry, I can't remember the names of all the class, all the class of items. Sometimes uh, gives you your charge back, so you know you'll be you can just punch stuff for days with the thagomizers. Um, you know, I don't know. Uh, I'm not. I'm not completely sold on these. For maybe a double melting point build, these could be okay. But I don't know. I feel like there's other Titan exotics that just do a better job. Shinobu's vow. Okay, these. Yeah, these are worth writing home about. Um, the discipline. The straight discipline roll. Eh. There. There's. There's better possible rolls for this. But see, the thing is, these things give improved skip grenades, and you gain additional skip grenade charge. What it also doesn't tell you is that you're when. What it means by improved skip grenade is that the these things seek so hard and so fast that you can't escape them with shade step. Like they they are on you and you're you're gonna get hit by all of them. Also, it spawns an extra little seeker thing. So instead of five, I think it's six. I don't play blade too much. I just know it gives you plus one more little uh, skip grenade thing in there. Also, it gives you an extra charge. So if you really want to be annoying in trials this weekend, pick these up and throw two grenades. That's going to be really, really consistent ways to get kills. Um, so we have intellect and discipline as the possible roles. Uh, you know, that's not horrible. That's not horrible. I'd probably go for, like, strength and discipline. I, I don't play blade, so I'm not too sure about stats. Uh, fastball, you definitely want those, and then pick, find find a reload that you actually like with these. Uh, light beyond nemesis. What are these? Revive fallen teammates faster. Okay. It was the revive fallen teammates and generate more orbs one. Now with intellect, gain super energy bonus, melee kills, shield, start pickups. You know, I think at this point, you, they, these don't really serve that much purpose except for the revive faster thing. If you still want one of those for trials, go for it. However, I really, really like a Fidian aspect if I'm going to be playing PvP on a Warlock. And this one just seems to kind of be really... Yeah, it's, it's just not that amazing. Thunderlord. It's Thunderlord, man. One of the best machine guns in the game. 49 in the mag. The the big thing with this is the uh, lightning rounds. It fires faster and more accurately the longer the trigger is held. Unfortunately, you can't get the year one field scout perk where it actually upped the magazine size in addition to upping reserve ammo. But still, this is a really solid machine gun for both PvE and PvP. I think I'm still a fan of Nemesis Star over this one now, but Thunderlord is always a great machine gun if you need arc damage and you're okay with, you know, using your exotic slot on it. If you haven't picked one up yet, it is actually, I have no idea when the last time this was sold, so definitely go pick this up if you haven't gotten it yet. Uh, it's one of the one of the better machine guns that you could possibly have. For ornaments, we have uh, Zalo Supercell and Telesto. And just as a reminder, Bungie, these still cost way too much silver dust. Maybe you should adjust the silver dust economy, let us earn more, because right now it takes five weeks to get one of these. As of this third video, you still can't buy one if you haven't actually purchased Radiant Treasures. For the Sparrow upgrades, we got the purple one and we got the red one. And we have heavy ammo synths. I don't know about you, but I typically buy a lot of these every time Zer comes around. And then three of coins are also really good. Uh, if you want to play Iron Banner or Trials this weekend, you should pick up a couple of these and use one of these after every couple match or so. You know, you'll you'll get a couple engrams out of that, I'm sure. And then glass needles. You will need these if you want to re-roll any of these armor rolls, which honestly, all these all these armor rolls are kind of uh, poopy. They're those single stats. That's 
that's not too good. You want to get double stats on your exotics. And then Motes of Light. For some reason, that's still here. All right. Oh, at least Zer is selling these Shinobu's Vow, which is fantastic. I am fearful of what trials will bring this week. <sighs> Thanks for tuning in, guys. I'll see you next week.